Hello, welcome. My name is Philippa and um, Archangel Hanael uh, wants to give us uh, some advices. I feel like it's almost um, a teaching, like a lecture. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go for it. I'll see you soon. Greetings. We would like to speak about the topic that has been initiated, which is the mastery of creation of your reality. We understand that some of you have heard this before and even have experienced, even if not in a conscious manner, the fundamental of being able to create the reality that you want is to understand where and how to put in the energy. For, as you well know, everything is energy. They're just a different frequencies or vibrations, if that's the word you prefer. And there are different forms of energy within the same vibration. And there are different qualities of energy within the same vibration. And there are clusters of frequencies and vibrations. It is hence important to know how and what and where you are putting in your energy for whatever it is it will grow and this is a fundamental that you must learn to master it We very often tell you, focus on that which you want. Put energy on that which you want. And that is the essence. And humans like to have quite complicated answers for they like to entertain their intellect with those types of, we will call it complexities still. And yet, it must be understood that the answers of what we speak of today are quite simple. The difficult part for you is to learn to apply the principles. And that is something that the intellect and the mind does not like to entertain.
within this line of where should you put your energy on, it is where you would like to feed what would you like to grow. And we pause for at the same time, we have been asking you to ask yourself here, what is it that you want? In other words, it has been recently said to you, how do you want to live your life in this year of 2024? In a year from now, how would you like your life to be? And we invite you to do the following practices. Take five, 10 minutes, whatever is you need and write it down whatever is the method or where you like to write it down. The following. In the next two to three months, what kind of life and person would you like to be? And this can be in a general way of abundance or it can be specific to your case. And within that time frame, write down five to six things that you would like to and or it is required the energy to grow to achieve that which you want in two months' time. Every day, beyond your daily tasks, your life admin, these are the priorities of what you need to focus on. And we know that immediately there is a big list on your minds on some of you of, but I have to do this and I have to take care of the kids and I have work. Of course you do. Isn't that part of life? Isn't that a priority? Can you make it into perspective and a perception in a different way that you are taking as you are already in your mind? And as you write these down, these are the things that you should feed. Please understand that some things would be daily, other things would be once a week. It is applicable to whatever is your case. We are giving the guidelines. In parallel, write down things that are precious to you. For example, 
is the relationship with your partner husband or your wife important to you from the heart not from the ego do write it down is the comfort of your home important to you do write it down is the progression in your job important to you you may write it down and every day at least twice a week as we know life is busy take time to look at that list of things you appreciate that are important to you that are precious to you and be grateful that you have them And as we have given the tools, which indeed are simple, and yet we ask, do you do it? Our point is, it is not about the simplicity. It is about the commitment, whether or not it is done. As you were in school, you first learned the A, B, C, D alphabet. Then you learned how to read and write. And then you had a more and more difficult and complex concepts throughout the school years without the capacity to read or write you would have not been where you are today whether you have a phd or you have a more technical job that did not require long academic studies. You were both the same. You both had to learn how to write. One may have chosen to go into academia, whilst the other chose that that was not for oneself. If you want to be masters, if you want to be an ascended master, it is about mastering the creation of your reality. And it begins by learning how to read and write. We would like to finish up with the theoretical concepts that are as theoretical as they are practical. That which you put energy into will grow. Hence, you should put an effort on that which you want. 
and not on that which you don't want. It is obvious and yet you do put energy on that which you don't want. You have put it, you probably still do. And if now you are more aware of this, it is because you have experienced this. And hence, you changed. So, the warrior, the real warrior, the samurai warrior is in its fundamental purest essence, a master of energy in the specific matter of the which you call war, which you call fight, you fight for what you want. You do not fight that which you do not want. If you fight what you do not want, you are putting energy onto it. It will grow. It will escalate. Instead, the mastery is to divert the energy to fight for that which you want. And this is the reason why we said, write down the things you want to achieve in the next two to three months. Think about what you want in a year time. And of course, things may change. It is so that you have a guidance of energy into that which you want. It's the warrior, if you will, for the purpose of understanding and explanation, putting the energy into the right fight. The warrior fights for what he, she wants. The other aspect of these fundamentals is that protection. The warrior protects not from fear, but protects due to a preciousness of what is that needs to be guarded against danger and attacks or occasion that creates an opportunity for an attack. And hence, we asked you to, in parallel, write down that which is precious to you. And as you become aware of what it is important for you, there is a feeling of gratitude and an instinct of natural loving protection, not the protection from the fear of losing. The third essence fundamental is what you fight against will grow because you will be putting an energy and hence we said fight for that which you want and not for that which you do not want a 
a warrior fights for that which he, she wants. When times changed and there had, due to context, be an investment in energy onto a war, it grew until it ended, but it grew because there was a feeding. This is the third fundamental you must truly understand. Do not feed that which you do not want. For example, if you do not want to be in danger when you go out on the streets, then do not have thoughts that you might be in danger when you go down the street. And yet, you may have the discernment of whether or not on a certain occasion might be danger going down the street. The discernment of the evaluation of the danger is different from having thoughts that it will happen to me, it might happen to me. It attracts the energy onto you. For example, listening to topics Musics, news with a certain energy and a vibration will naturally attract that onto you, whether or not you intend it or want it, it will, for the energy simply follows its like. We thank you for listening. We bless you. Okay, that was um, Archangel Hanael. Um, um, Hanael is one of those archangels that uh, um, she does vary uh, between uh, the polarity masculine or feminine. Um, she holds uh, both uh, types. Um, so with me, uh, she most often comes as, as a she, uh, as a female uh, energy. And um, this archangel is about um, a sense of, she's about the heart and she's a heart centered archangel. And so when uh, she, she's known as the, the, war, the warrior archangel and when she speaks of that, and of uh, morality, uh, it's kind of in a different um, the definitions and concepts of, of how we use those words. Um, and I, I hope this, uh, this helps you. Um, and um, thank you uh, so much for, for watching. And uh, I will see you next time.